cab of the Case IH 8250 Axle Flow Combine with the McDon FD240 header. It's got the three reels here, sweeping the wheat in. It's in a good harvest here in Western Kentucky and exciting to see this new header. And I'm here with the farmer. Uh, what have you liked about going to the, the new 2 Series? Well, so far, you know, we've only used it in wheat, but it's fed really well. The, I like the flex of the reel better. Um, it seems to be a little more responsive, feeds well. Um, a lot of the functions on the machine are a little more um, user friendly, and um, so a lot easier to hook up, and some of the connections and so forth and all that are just, to me, much better and much more solid. Maybe you put them on. Um, you know, they're brand new to us, so we're still trying to get used to them, but overall, we've been really pleased with them. So. Do they flex pretty well when you're in rolling ground? Or? Yes, they do. They fall, uh, you know, we, I'm curious to see how well they're going to flex whenever we get beans. That's what I'm really excited about. But, but so far in wheat, you know, the way they're designed and so forth, they've done a good job when we roll them through some uh, low spots or ditches or anything like that, you know, they They've hung the ground pretty well and uh, have made it much much more user friendly from the cab standpoint. Well, they they look pretty good out on the ground when I'm filming and uh, having the three reels. I guess gives a little more visibility up here on the the front uh, as it's coming in the feeder house. Yeah, it definitely eliminates that shatter that you were getting on the old ones right in the middle. I've had just a little bit of wheat straw wrapped on that one for probably. 500 acres and I've just not pulled it off because it's not affecting anything but but you never get any wrapping here in the middle and that's pretty awesome as far as visibility and not getting the shatter up against the wind and that type thing. Well, that's very nice. Well, I appreciate the ride along today to see this in action and uh, I look forward to uh, coming back during the soybean harvest and seeing how it um, how it performs in, in that kind of crop condition. It's, um, I think it's really going to show out, and um, you know we're we're excited to have them and excited to see what they can do come this fall. But you know, we're going through low spots like this that we're getting ready to go through, and when we're in soybeans here, that's going to handle that, I think, much better than what the one old ones would. And even now, if you watch it, you know it just kind of floats right with it and handles it. Just has a little bit more flex to it. So. Definitely doing a good job. One of the updates on this head is where the gauge is to see where you're cutting at. And it's been added closer here for a better view from the cab for the operator to see. And in wheat, it's not as important because you're cutting higher. But in soybeans, that will be a very helpful feature uh, to be watching.
I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Western Kentucky winter wheat field during harvest with the new for model year 2022 McDon FD240 Flex Draper Head. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what type of header you use to harvest wheat and other small grains on your farm. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional harvesting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, Thank you for watching.